Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to look at how you can use Microsoft Excel to make a very basic spreadsheet in that you can do your bookkeeping in. So maybe you're a new business that is just starting out um, and you're not quite ready for a paid subscription or maybe you just prefer working in Excel or you just like the simplicity of keeping it all in Excel in front of you where you can see everything. Maybe you just want to save money um, or maybe you are just looking for a very basic option that doesn't require too much technical skills in order to do it effectively. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can make a very basic template in Excel to do your bookkeeping that will keep you out of strife uh, for the time being until you grow into a, a bigger business that might need something more sophisticated. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to make a tab here and this is going to be called expenses. And we're just going to put some uh, headings up the top here. We're going to go date, details, and then I click on this column here up the top here to highlight the whole column and I'm going to put a left border on it. And then going across here, this is going to be our chart of accounts, our account categories. So you can put in here whatever you want. Maybe your accountant can give you a list of appropriate account categories, or maybe you already have a list that you're using, but we'll just make some up here. So we're going to have office expenses. We'll have rent, um, motor vehicle. Phone and internet. Utilities, subscriptions, and whatever you need to have. And then you might have one at the end called miscellaneous or sundry for anything that's left over. So when I need to expand a column out here because we can see the text is cut off, you can just click here, double click, and that'll expand it out. Double click, it expands it out. I'm going to put a bottom border on this row here. There we go. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag this out to give us a bit more space in the details. Now, what I want to do with this video is make it very simple for people who aren't that confident in Excel, but they need a bookkeeping solution. So we're not going to use any formulas here. There are certainly ways that you can use formulas in Excel to automate things and make a quite a little nifty spreadsheet for yourself. I'm not going to show you that in this video. I will do other videos like that, but all the same, even if you want to automate things more in Excel, you can still use something similar to this as a foundation, and then you can build on that and build formula formulas into it down the track. So here you just have your dates. So first of the seven, 21, whatever it may be, you know. When various things happen, every time you have an expense, you enter it in here. And let's say here um, you went to Officeworks and just say, um, I don't know, we bought some paper. And then we uh, paid for fuel. And then we um, paid a, a phone bill and electricity. Now, all you have to do now is when you go to Officeworks and buy your paper, say that was a $15 expense, you just have to enter it in whichever column it fits into over here. So that would be office expenses, $15. What I might do as well, I'm going to click here and drag while I'm holding down the mouse button. And then I'm going to click on the comma. And you can see now the $15 is now showing the cents. So we want to see the cents on everything. And fuel, that would be a motor vehicle expense. I've got here MV for motor vehicle. And that was, say, 
Optus, that's a phone expense. And that was $78. Electricity for your office, 158, 77, let's say. So you just use the columns as you see fit. And then let's say um, on the 15th of December, we had, uh, we bought some more fuel for the motor vehicle. So you go over to that same MV column for motor vehicle or whatever you're calling it. You might even just call it car expenses just to make it simple. And this time we spent $47 and 45 cents. And then you need to total all this up. So the, this video was all about having no formulas, but there will be some very basic formulas. And all we're gonna have here is an auto sum. So you can either click auto sum and it will sum it up to the top and hit enter. Or if you're clicking into it, you just type in equals sum, open bracket, the cell C2 at the top to the cell C19 down the bottom, close bracket, enter, and that will give you the same result. And then to drag it across, we just drag it across like that to fill the formulas in. So you just click on the bottom right, hold and drag. You can see it's bringing over the borders as well. So I'm just gonna highlight here, click up here in the borders and go no border to clear that. I'm also gonna bold this because it's a total column, row rather. There we go. You might even have a, a total of everything on the side here, that's optional. So we can do an auto sum there and then I'll pick it up and that would be the total for everything, all your expenses. I might put a border on that. So then you just go along as your expenses come in, you enter it in, put it in the column that is appropriate for the expense. You can add in new columns for new expense categories and you can insert columns as well just by say highlighting a chunk of rows here, right click, insert, and then you can see it's just pushed it out a bit further below. So you can use this as a base and expand on it as you need to do. Now we're gonna to have to have something for our income as well, which will be quite similar. So we would have date, details, and then you would have service A or product A, depending on what you're selling, service B, service C, etc. If you want to categorize different types of sales under different categories. And it would be much the same. So I'd put a border down here and you might put a miscellaneous or an other income on the end here. Another border there, bottom border here, and then I'll put an auto sum down here. Now, because there's no figures in here, it hasn't rang it up automatically. So I'm gonna to have to now click, hold and drag to highlight the section. And you can see the sum is cell C2 to C17. I'm gonna drag that over. Control B to put a bold on it. And I'm gonna just get rid of these little borders here that we don't need. And it would be the same story here. So just say on the 20th of August, um, you did some consulting for $200. On the 1st of September, you did some more consulting. You'd probably even have like your invoice number or your um, the name of the customer. Whatever you need to put in here. And then we did a different kind of service offering here. For service B and we made $700 there. So $700 for service A, $700 for service B. Then you're going to need a summary page or a profit and loss.
So up the top here, we'll have our income section and we're going to want to list out our different types of income. So I'm just highlighting this and I'm going to click Control C to copy and I'm going to go back over here, Control V to paste or you can right click and paste. I don't want the borders, so I'm going to go paste special values only. And see it only pasted the text, not the borders. Or you can just switch it off by clicking the no border button up there. Now, because I want it to list top to bottom, not across, I'm going to click on these and go Control X to cut, Control V to paste, Control X to cut, Control V to paste, or you can do right click as well. Right click, cut, and right click, paste. But I like to use Control C, Control V, Control X just for the um, quickness of it. So there's your income. Now we're going to want an expense section. And I'll Control B to bold that. I'm just going to pick these up here, do a Control C, Control V. And I'm just going to paste special to remove that border. And then I'm going to move them down here. Control X, Control V, 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 Control X, Control V. If you don't want to do your cutting and pasting, you can also just go plus or equals and then click on the cell, enter. That will give you the same result. I'm going to double click on this column here to bring it out so it's not cutting off the text. There we go. And now we're going to use a very simple formula, just the same as I showed you just now when I clicked on the office cell. So you can use the plus key or the equals key. I'm just going to use the plus key because it's a bit more convenient on my keyboard. And we want the total figure for the service A. So I'm going to go over here, service A total figure, click on that, enter. There's your 700. Do the same for service B. Service B. Service C. And the miscellaneous income. I'm going to click on here and do did do what I did in the um, in the expenses where I bring in the decimal figures. And then if you want, you can also reduce the decimals down to zero. But the good thing about this, even if you don't want to show the decimals, the good thing about clicking on this column button is that if you have, say, um, an item over a thousand, it's going to put the comma in there to make it easier to read. So now I'm going to click down here and I'm going to click on auto sum. Enter. I'm going to put a bottom border here and I might bold that as well. Control B. I'm going to put another line in here just to space it out a bit more. Insert. And now we do the same for the expenses as we did for the income. So plus or equals the total for office, rent. Enter, car, enter, phone and internet, utilities, subscriptions, miscellaneous, and we're going to sum it up, auto sum, or you type in equals sum open bracket and you can click and hold and drag to highlight the text close bracket enter control b to bold it i'm going to put a bottom border in there so now you can see we have nineteen hundred dollars worth of income coming from here seven hundred for service a twelve hundred for service b yep and we have three hundred fifty five dollars of expense Coming from here, 
and we're going to put a net profit in here. And that will just simply be plus or equals this minus this. Enter, there's your net profit. 1900 minus 355 equals a profit of 1545. Now, if you are registered for GST, you can still use this, but what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to insert a couple of columns. So I'm going to input two columns here. Whoopsie daisy. We will control Z to undo that. That's not where I wanted it to go. So I'm going to go right click, insert, do it again, right click, insert. Yep. I might just drag these over a little bit to make them a bit smaller. And we're going to have a gross in here. This is going to be the gross amount on the expense. And then we're going to have the GST amount on the expense. So let's say the $15. All right, so I'm going to just put the, I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to click the comma button, button so that we can see the decimals. $15, the GST on that, you can either do a little quick formula here by going equals uh, this amount here divided by 11, or you can just type it in manually or you can use an if function as well to make it a bit more automated. But just to keep it simple here, if you're really not sure and you want to keep it simple, just type it in. And sometimes it's not always going to be a full 10% as well, so you won't be able to use the formula. But now over in this section here, which is your actual chart of accounts, you need to make sure you're picking up the GST exclusive figure. Okay, so we're just going to go equals 15 minus the GST, click on that. So 1364 is your real expense if 136 is your GST. And then for the fuel, it was 5529. We know that's a full 10%, so we're just going to drag that formula down. Again, you can type it in if you want. And we're going to go equals this minus the GST. Phone and internet was 78. That'll have GST on it. $7.09 GST. Adjust it to make it the exclusive amount. So it's 70.91 minus the 709 GST. Or plus the 709 GST rather. 1791 excluding GST is what I'm trying to say. Electricity, that'll have GST on it. We'll drag the formula down, or you can go Control C, Control V, and then adjust this to the GST exclusive figure. 144 excluding GST. The car, 4745. And you'll see there, because we've done it a few times, Excel has actually brought the formula down automatically. This divided by 11 to give us 431 GST. Makes 43 and 14, excluding GST. So now we've got 322.28 plus, do an auto sum, 32.23 GST. And you would do the same over on your income. I've inserted two columns here, one for gross, one for GST. So 200 would become this divided by 11. GST is 1818. Select the column, hit the comma to get the decimals. Do the same here. And then we just have to adjust this to be the gross minus the GST. It was 181.82 plus 1818 GST. 500. Copy the formula down. Control V, Control C, Control V. 
XGST equals 500 minus 45, 45, so 454, 1200. Copy the GST formula down. Ten ninety one excluding GST auto sum to get your GST. So you can use this to do your BAS as well. we'll go back over to the profit and loss, and now you'll see these numbers have changed. So we've got seventeen twenty seven of sales, which is these items here. Seventeen twenty seven, and we've got three twenty two of expenses, three twenty two, to make a fourteen oh five net profit. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, as I was saying, this is just a very simple way to get set up something that you probably will outgrow at some stage, but at least you're going to be set up. Your accountant's going to be very happy with you because you're making their job easy for them. Uh, you'll be able to expand on this if you want to insert formulas, um, if you want to do um, if functions to automate your GST, if you, you can use, also use your if function to uh, automate the account code where you're going to place it on the where, which column it goes under, that sort of thing. So you can do plenty of things. You can do drop down menus to select your accounts. I'll do some videos on this stuff later. But um, this is just a very basic foundation level Excel template that would suit a beginner but would also serve as a foundation for someone a bit, little bit more advanced to build upon and insert formulas to automate. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching to the end. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the description. Have a look there. Head, to, head, head over to our website, and we can book in a training session. We work mostly with Excel, Xero, Myob, whatever, but whatever you need to do. And um, we'll, we'll sit down have a discussion about what you want to improve and then we'll tailor a training session to suit your needs and then we'll come out and deliver that training session. So again, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you learned anything from, anything from the video, I really would appreciate if you could hit the like button. And other than that, guys, we'll see you in the next one.